Mm, that's fun. Talk and rock. The Big Dumb Fun Show. Thanks for listening to the Big Dumb Fun Show. Give us a call, 888-8275-61. Be live on the air Mondays, 7 to 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. The rest of the week, leave us a random-ass voicemail message, and we might play it on the air. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Big Dumb Fun Show. Let's welcome Molly and Dustin to the Big Dumb Fun Show. Welcome, guys. Hello. You've got uh, the, uh, the is this a, uh, is a podcast, Reviews for Humans? Is uh, this a webcast? What what the hell is this web, exactly? Web show. Web show, web series. YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you need to scoot your mic a little bit yeah. more towards Situation. your mouth. Yeah, get so, right up on that microphone. Because you're, 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 yeah, and you're you're doing a, uh, like a web series where you will, will film yourself talking about you... Watching a, a show. Yeah. We watch uh, teen supernatural dramas, which we're both much too old to enjoy. <laughs> gotcha. I understand. Uh, and uh, that then what, we that's talk what about makes it our feelings about them. Yeah. Which is... Yeah. yeah. Well, we it, watch it, teen supernatural dramas. It started and our we feelings wanted to about review them. movies. Right. But this started in 2011. Mm-hmm. And, and you just got together and you, what, you live tweeted during something? Or how, how did this all begin? Well, a friend of ours sitting at a bar one night, you know... Thought we were funny chatting and said we should have our own show. Were you watching Teen Wolf at a bar? No, no we were just oh. hanging we were out. Talking, just talking about, about we're talking about some movies, dumb movie TV, and, who knows? and making up stuff. And Molly and I were they said, "Oh, you're really funny. You guys should do something." And we we're like, you know "Yes, what? We're very, yes, we are." And we, we're very literal, so we yeah. said, "Okay, and that, done." And we did that. And that was thing. Now we do that thing. So now you've got like 100, 120 episodes in the can, somewhere like that. Every is this a weekly deal, or is this just ongoing? Ongoing. Ongoing. Uh, yeah. It, it, it sounds like from your description, we were talking right before we went on the air, that you'd like, if there's a show like tonight with Teen Wolf. Mm-hmm. On MTV. Yeah, everyone's very upset with you yeah, guys. Yeah, that you're, you're not actually there doing the show live, watching the watching the episode. You're here with us. And so I said, well, let's see if we can get some Teen Wolf on the TV, which I don't think we can do. But. No, we don't know. You don't actually have it on in the background when you're doing the show, because then you're like, well, we're going to meet again on Wednesday, and then on no. Saturday we're doing no. it. There's a lot of this is teen what, supernatural are, dramas going on I was aware are of. We BFFs forever, though, with Teen Wolf. Right. Uh, they, we started the same, our, basically our first episode of Reviews for Humans was their first episode of Teen Wolf, the show. Yeah. So we've been, you know, we've been doing it for as long as they have, and the funny thing, the reason, what we do in our process, Molly and I, yeah. is she sits on my love seat and I sit on my couch and we silently watch television together and tweet all of our thoughts out. We don't speak. Don't speak. But then afterwards, we it's... we get the first time we even talk about a show is when we're sitting in front of our camera. It's crazy. So it's, it's well, that's on. great. We used to do the same thing in our studio to yeah. where we wouldn't like, hey, how was your weekend or anything like that. We got to where we just like. What's up? Yeah. And we you don't talk at all. You're like, let's right. save this for air. Save it for air. Save it for air. And then it's we more spontaneous that way. You know, then we reenact uh, our favorite scenes with Barbie dolls and our own interpretation. Of okay, them. now that's just weird. You had me. You had me <laughs> up into that. Uh, but uh, so you started out. I, I've got to assume. Do you have any sort of a, a connection with MTV in regards to? Let's just talk Teen Wolf yeah. in its own thing. Well, it's, not really. I mean, like I said, we're we're friends with the show. We started tweeting with their. Uh, do they support yeah. your show? Ba- yeah, back when back when they're in their season one, when there were like twenty five people watching that show, there were twenty five people watching our show. Nice. And so we were all buddies, and we've actually been out to set. And really, and they, uh, they did they flew us out. They cover you in hair. No, in the makeup chair. No, that be cool? they were upset because you're. They were filming or taping the episode, and there you were making tweets. No. Here's why. Here's <laughs> why I would. Us. I was gonna say. Here's why I would absolutely love you if I'm MTV. Uh-huh. And in the days of the DVR. It keeps people watching this stuff live, and right. you have to watch the commercials. Yeah. Right. That's the great thing about uh, live tweeting a TV show. You're doing show like or... MTV's dirty work. We right. are. They, they don't pay us. Uh, <laughs> they have they to, should. But they should. They should sponsor yeah. something. But, uh, mm-hmm. Jeff, Jeff Davis, the creator of... They should put you on Teen, Teen Mom, Mom or something. Like yeah. Teen Mom? Yeah, Teen oh. like any of those uh, MTV shows well, on there. Like, they, they should put us on Teen Mom? Yes, or... why, why not? Where the moon lights. <laughs> We're not teens or moms, though. Doesn't matter. Get a guest, another, a guest starring role. That's another thing. We watch all these. We watch all these that's teenage ridiculous. dramas about vampires and werewolves and high schoolers, but we're way too old. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, she forced me to watch The Vampire Diaries. I did. Sure you did. And so, like, I sit there now, and I'm like, we're talking about it. I'm like, I hate that I have an opinion about this show. I yeah. just hate it. It's very heated. Well, is this, yeah. is this your guys' job? Is this what you do? We call it our second job. Yeah. yeah. We make no money at it. So right. do you have, like, another we gig where people say, hey, what did you do last night? And you're like, 
Oh, God. <laughs> I say that all the like time. I watched, I watched Teen Wolf and then played with a bunch of damn Barbie dolls. We're exactly. dressing Barbie dolls, and I stop and I look at Dustin all the time, but like, this is our life. Yeah. Like, you this realize, is really weird. You realize that Thursday before night. we came here, uh, I had, in the last three or four weeks, Teen Wolf was introducing an Asian character. Yeah. So I spent literally a month and a half scouring eBay and Walmarts looking for an Asian Barbie doll. She's they don't have my, Asian Barbie dolls? She's in my purse right now. Yeah. Oh, let's br- break it out. I'll, I'll go get her. Yeah, go get Asian. And, well, uh, hold on. We'll, we'll break her out. We'll, you'll come back. Wow. You'll come back. And then uh, we spent... <laughs> we spent the hour before we came here dressing her and picking out her outfit. Yeah. That's what we did. Wait, your Barbie doll or Molly? Yeah, you know how hard it is to find Hello Kitty wear for a Barbie doll <laughs> sized character? <Yeah. laughs> right. I'm not... So, but uh, you don't just do the Teen Wolf. No. No. What What else are you live tweeting and um, wasting your life on? Uh, Being human on sci-fi. So I, yeah, the okay. American version. The Vampire Diaries. And uh, Sleepy Hollow. And Sleepy Hollow now, that new one on Fox. How, how is that? It's so it's... crazy. Oh, they're going to say, it uh, sucks! No, no. Oh, no. I hate the, it! <laughs> the weirder and dumber it is, the better we like right. it. Okay, good. It's full of historical inaccuracies. And yeah. They do the craziest stuff, but it's hilarious and amazing, and we love it. Well, and you started off on the Sci-Fi For Me network, yeah. and then you decided, hey, this is just getting too big. we got to kind of branch off ourselves. Well, it wasn't just that. We didn't want to just cover the sci-fi genre. Oh, okay, we wanted gotcha. to branch out. Like, we went and saw uh, and reviewed, like, the lucky one, Nicholas Sparks movie. <laughs> okay, right? gotcha. And Sorry. other, you know, crap yeah. like that. The Zac Efron. That not, isn't yes. And his abdominals. And it, so do you have a dedicated following that that for for each individual, like, uh, like Teen Wolf? And there are, or will there are people that will kind of follow you and say, oh, I want to know what they want to know about Teen Wolf? Yes. Or do they, do they, do they kind of span the genre do they also watch sleepy hollow with you or is it two totally different people no, we don't have i don't think we have very many multi fandom we do some well. uh i've i've we've got a couple that that watch all th- all the, our shows with us or at least they watch all of our shows yeah but I don't know if they watch all... They're just like, fans of yeah. you guys. But yeah. then we have people that don't watch any of those shows and say, you guys got to review more movies. And we're like, but we're very poor. <laughs> yeah. Start, well, yeah. yeah. I would say start sending some bucks this way. Exactly. What, what you need to do is... Attach is, a dollar to your comment on yeah. YouTube there. Mm-hmm. This is uh, this is Dustin and Molly. You can find them online at uh, uh, what, the Facebook, the Tumblr, the Twitter, the YouTube slash reviews. The number four humans no, is where you can pull them up, right? reviews for humans. Oh. What the, what, what I said? Our Twitter, our Twitter handle is reviews number four for you. Oh, but everything else is reviews four f o r spelled out. Like I said, we're very literal. Gotcha. Well, we will uh, we'll link this up on our Facebook. Page. Stay stay around. Yeah, we're gonna talk about your film career, and we'll talk about that Asian Barbie doll. Okay. <laughs>